What's going on, comic friends? Welcome back to the Council of X. I hereby declare that this session, or we are now in session, and uh, we've got an exciting show tonight. We are drafting our very own X-Men teams. It's going to be a fun time. Um, let's say hello first to our council members that are here with us tonight. First off, we've got Josh from Sasquatch Comics. We've hey, got folks. Bruce from Up North Comics. Brian, Big Me McFly, the comic guy. Chris from Cheddar Comics. <laughs> Eric from SideQuest Comics. What's up, guys? And Dan from Dan's X-Men Comics on IG. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and we've got uh we've got people. a lot of we've got a lot of people in the chat already. Um hey. let's yeah, bring hello. it ready. We've got Eric T. Huffman. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in tonight. <laughs> I was a little early. <laughs> got Yvonne 82. It was my pleasure to be on Comic Book Addicts earlier. And uh thank you for having me. Uh that was a, a great chat. So if you didn't catch Comic Book Addicts on S Vaughn 82's channel. Uh, catch the replay. Uh, always a good, uh, always a good show to watch. Oh, there conversations, and uh, maybe it was all right with with me on it. So, all right. Uh, then we got Mikey G tuning in on Hawaiian time. Nice. Aloha. Oh, sweet. Is Aloha. It, is, it, is it like is that, early or late there? Is I don't that know. Beyond, is that, is that early beyond early? Pacific? Early. It's early. <laughs> I think it's still early, right? <clears throat> I don't know. Somebody, like Mike, Mike, you let us know. Let us know. You'd have to let us know. Um, Mahalo. Brandon from On Comics. Brandon. We've got Alex Comic Quarter. Thanks wow. for tuning in. Yeah. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah. Solid Teleport. Yep. Thank you for uh -huh. tuning in. We've got Flow Wolf. Hey, X Bros. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we've got Next Gen Collector. Oh, yeah. Did you see your boy in the new Coke commercial? I yep. did not. Yeah. Somebody big, big Colossus what? appearance today in Coca-Cola commercial. What? Say what? Somebody's yep. got to send me a link. I'm up in Canada and I also don't watch a lot of TV. So if uh if that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I've seen it. I'm not lying. We have to you. Coke in Canada, right? <laughs> we do yeah. have Coke in Canada. We do have Coke in Canada. Uh Troy, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. And we've got Derek yeah. Spiltner. What's going on? <laughs> Eric is <laughs> I'm chomping. I'm drooling. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. The energy is high. The I think we, high. I think we really want to get to this draft, but I do want to quickly touch on everybody's thoughts on the last couple episodes of X-Men 97. Oh, boy. You got a couple of hours, everybody? All right. Let's top line it and uh, just I, I, I want to know what you guys are thinking. Yeah. Let's start with Josh. So what uh, that the third episode was like incredible horror episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know some of the complaints were that they tried to pack too much into one episode. That's what the original series did. It packed in huge storyline. Yeah. yeah. And they pulled it off magnificently. And it just shows that, like, the writing's great because they really care. They really care. And then that just, that, 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 that mindset really carried over into the Jubilee episode, which I just, I just adored. This book's going through the roof, folks. Actually, it's Pump it up. Yeah, I love Jubilee. I love that Me they too. had the, like the video game reference. I was thinking about you, Ryan, and your your setup back there, watching it and uh and just watching it with my kiddo. Like when she saw Mojo all emaciated, oh, it was yeah. just like that was far more terrifying than his like fat self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. I just that just shows that the, the people behind the scenes creating this were like, how do we make Mojo even fucking creepier and they pulled it off and yeah i love it and i feel um just all the the waves of nostalgia and how it's connected me with people from my past and like we're living the dream right now x-men 97 <laughs> love it 
Bruce, what you think? I loved what Josh had to say about it. That's right on cue. Um, Mr. Sinister, that was awesome. I mean, I knew it was coming, you know, from, you know, a little bit of the, that episode. I kind of tell that it was going to be introduced. And I was like, yes, I'm ready for it. Like, that episode got me so pumped up for this series. Like, that was definitely by far on the top of the list of episodes. And then, so that was the third episode, right? And then the fourth episode was... Um, you got the Jubilee intro. Um, wasn't really a fan of it. You know, I, I thought that they could have taken, um, you know, the storm um, storyline with um, life and death and just made it its own episode. But hey, it is what it is. Bigby, Ryan. I think, I think maybe they were worried that that would be. Yeah. Oh, by the way, delayed, but. <laughs> No, no, totally. What was that? Your opinions, brother. Love you, Bruce. I think Dan's booing Bruce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, big guy. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I, I was like wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> One second in, getting booed. So uh, I think oh, that uh, really? maybe they were afraid Dang. that the, uh, the, the, uh, the romance uh storms powers thing might, might have like lost some people. So they wanted to have a little more action going on with the. That with the Jubilee episode, but yeah, I enjoyed I enjoyed all of them. Like I said, like you guys said, the the third one seemed a little rushed for a, cramming a lot of story into one episode. Um, I'm waiting for them to totally turn Sunspot into just all the way he looks, you know, just not just one arm or whatever, you know, just mm -hmm. totally go full on Sunspot. But um, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It's good stuff. All right, hold on. I just received my very first super chat ever. Oh, Brandon, cool. too kind. Look at this. Thank you, sir. You're too kind. My Sport very seven very ways. We all get three bucks. A very Brandon. good. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my cash. To me, my wow. cash. <laughs> hey man, that, that 1999 goes a long way up here in Canada. That's like at least. Twenty-two fifty or $23. So, yeah. I mean, we appreciate, <laughs> we appreciate your, your American money up here. Yeah. But Brandon, yeah. super, super kind Thank of you. Thank you so much. Get another um, mid-grade uh, X-Men 221, my man. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. You know it. You know it. <laughs> um, Chris, what did you think? I thought the, um, you know, I love the, the Goblin Queen episode. <clears throat> but it was just so... You know, my my wife and I have been watching the original <laughs> series because she never saw them, and I just I just wish it was a two parter. Um, I just think the the pacing was so yeah. breakneck pace. You know, I, I think it could have been juicier yeah. and sweeter in two parts, but that's pretty. It's pretty nitpicky. Mm -hmm. I thought the animation was like incredible. It was like anime. Um, I thought there was so much in there. I I loved it. I just wish it was a two parter like the old ones. Mm -hmm. Episode four, I I I didn't care for it. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like the Jubilee was all kind of eye candy. Didn't go anywhere. Didn't need to be there. It was weird that it was just like ten minutes of the show, and then you get into the. Somebody said it. Maybe they thought the 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 storm storyline would have been boring or something, but. I don't know. Didn't really care for it, and I love the storm forge stuff. I just was like, Well, I, when now we're starting to get somewhere, I want more of that, but mm -hmm. yeah, Dick, you know, yeah, overall, I love it. Mm. That's <laughs> I like that. I like that. Here's all my yeah. negatives, and negative, overall, I loved it. Overall, I loved I loved it. it. I'm the exact yeah. same yeah. win, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was a little disappointed that they took that. that Forge didn't actually make the gun because in the comics he actually made the gun that shot. Yeah, Storm. yeah. right. Yeah. Which is a way better thread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of busy yelling at the screen with Forge. I was like, "You dumbass! You dumbass!" <laughs> <laughs> we've had we've had like two whole episodes without any Storm hours that sucks yeah. it's yeah. a lot forge <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> almost got the yeah, but you, i'm kind of excited like how many years I was it in the comics i was like she had no powers for like six years she, or something right she was a badass oh, so with no long, powers so, long. Yeah. so that, that i'm kind really, of excited yeah. about that 
that really yeah. right, I, Alex. That's a great. That's a great point from Alex too. Is uh, yeah, it's a great time to jump back into. Um, yeah, into yeah. I never things. read any of the Madeline but, Pryor stuff. I was aware of it, but I didn't read it until that episode, and it's it's great. Yeah. I literally just read, like, I just finished my Inferno, um, oh, Inferno, yeah, on the omnibus, like Killer. a month before X Men '97 came out. So this is all so fresh in my head. Um, it's actually really kind of fun uh, mm. watching it uh, now, as it uh, as it's as I had just read it. So Eric, you were yelling at your at your TV. Yeah, I was. Yeah, <laughs> overall, I mean, if if a cartoon can get that kind of emotion out of you. It's That's it's true. pretty good. You know, I mean, yeah. I yeah. thought yeah. once again, they hit all, you know, the key points, good. The characters were in, you know, right on key. Um, the Jubilee one, I kind of echo like Chris, it just seemed weird, disjointed, like a filler type of story. I thought it was cool. Like mm -hmm. the, the mix of, you know, the two different animation styles. I was kind of, I thought that was kind of neat with the, the 8 bit 16 bit versus regular animation so i thought that was neat uh mojo was creepy as ever mm -hmm. uh i was hoping to see long shot cuz they did show like a little stuffed you know plush guy on her dresser i was like oh we can see long shot but no we didn't really get him so the least um, but yeah i think they needed to do that the forge storm story in a two parter and i don't think there would have been enough for a full episode. It would have been very drawn out, you know, kind of like, you know, not, I'm not going to say a snooze fest, but it wouldn't have moved very fast. So um, I think it's appropriate to do that. I just, I don't know, maybe that beginning story, is something different. I don't know. Yeah. Dan, mm -hmm. where can uh, yeah, I get my Motendo? I, I want a Motendo. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, Bruce booing me. Um, <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun. Um, these, the yeah, totally. That Jubilee episode, totally a filler episode. And it's funny because it's like they needed a little slowdown after that third episode. But like another, like how I felt about the third episode, like we may have lost like some really casual X Men fans that are like, what the fuck's going on right now? Yeah. But and then in the with the Jubilee thing, they're like, let's just uh, lighten it up a little bit uh, mm -hmm. with this uh, video game reference stuff. Um, but like explaining the Mojo verse, like just as confusing to anybody i'm sure that yeah. said i had a blast i thought it was so fun it like reminded me like i'm just strapping in bro and like having a good time like let's just do this and yeah. then with the forge episode get a little heavier i loved how well they did that like i felt like it was a lot like the comic i know that he wasn't in this holographic mansion um, with all of these scenes, you kind of need that in, in, in the comics to explain his background and all this stuff. Like, I guess what we're doing with the show is we're just, let's just enjoy this. Right. Is the, is the feeling that I'm getting from it. And, um, you're right. They didn't explain like he, you know, made the gun that shot her, which would be definitely more intense, but he did explain that he used, it was his like coding, which kind of like, you know, like his coding that that was used to make the weapons and the and the collars and the things that would hurt the mutants. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah. But that no. said, like, I kind of felt like, well, like the justification of Storm like slapping him and walking away wasn't as heavy as it was in the comics. Yeah. But I was still just like, fuck yeah, like, you know, <laughs> and uh, and also like um, the. Uh, uh, I'm blanking here. Um, oh, voice acting on Forge. Loved it. Loved that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. Just fun stuff. Just fun stuff. I'm really enjoying it. The stakes are low, baby. I feel like this is a great, like, <laughs> let's get in there and let's just, like, have some fun. Yeah. I said it was I, fun yet. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Not a ball, baby. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll basically start the way Chris ended, which was... I love it. I love it. But here's some <laughs> here's some things I, I I didn't love. I agree. I feel like the episode three could have been two two um, episodes that might have made it a little little more fun. But I mean, I still enjoy. I enjoyed the heck out of that episode. Um, the you know when when Magneto and 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 Madeline were going at it, that was that was some good stuff right there. It gave uh, me some Castlevania themes. Yeah, just like vibes. Sorry, Castlevania vibes. Great, totally. and, 
and a animation in that episode. I mean, all the episodes. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to have seen it maybe uh, develop a little bit over another episode. Um, but Madeline Pryor is still around, so we'll see where that goes. Um, if yep. you uh, watch Inferno, she kind of she kind of is gone after that. So I, yeah. I, I'm inter- I'm interested to see where that if that For sets it up. <laughs> um, then in the in the the two the fourth episode, which was basically two ep- two mini episodes in one episode, um, I didn't love the Mojo stuff. I, I was like, why is he skinny? First off, like this felt wrong. Nice, love the sticker. <laughs> Um, but then he got he got rotund after, so that was fine. Um, <laughs> back to normal, all good. Uh, I, what I did love about uh, nice sticker, I love, I love these stickers. Yeah, I need one of those. Uh, I'll try. Uh, I'll try get. Well, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll bring a bunch to to uh, Terrificon. There we go. Um, hey. Yeah, I just uh, I loved I loved the little little uh, points to the old arcade game uh, in in the Motendo part. Uh, and I actually thought for the first time ever, Jubilee was actually kind of cool. Um, I, I, I've I always felt her powers suck. I'm like, what what are you doing? Sparkly hands, like whatever. Like <laughs> uh, the whole like razor stuff and skating on them and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. I think they need to start developing that into the, into the, her actual repertoire in the animation, um, but yeah, I, I just felt kind of like weird jumping from that to the life death stuff. But I do know I didn't feel like life death was like too short because I know they're gonna they're still gonna keep uh, like there's gonna be another life death commer- uh, episode, so I'm kind of okay with mm-hmm. with that short because it's leading into more. Um, so yeah, uh, overall I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just like cut between the two stories like a normal TV episode. Do you know what I mean? Like you have your main story and then you cut to your sub yeah. story and like yeah, just yeah. go back and forth and then have a oh. normal episode. And why have it, like they've done before in the original series? You're right. Yeah, it's like uh, a I normal agree. television thing all Didn't the time even think about that yeah yeah it's kind of yeah. weird it's just a i don't know it's an odd idea to just be like maybe because minutes. they don't want it to be like uh like they don't want like the continuity to like maybe the story wouldn't be told as well if like you were like following yeah. along and if you compartmentalize them each they kind of feel like they can stand yeah. alone a little bit more yeah, which sure. would be which could be less confusing or I don't know, attract uh, people for streaming I think that, I think the way they did it, like, it makes it more dramatic for the Storm and Forge storyline to be all one thing where you're just kind of focusing on how this all plays out between the two of them. Whereas if you had the lighthearted combat things with the video games with Jubilee, it might not have been as impactful. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, my, my daughter um, pointed out during and after um, the first part is a teenage love story and the second part is an adult love story Ooh. and i love that she she wow. got that it's go. true. Like, we're, we're set up with with you know with young love and then the depth uh with uh you know forge and storm and i i like that perspective i like her take from that very insightful i just got chills <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. ice I'm man come it's, it's you know that's that's awesome i love that there we go. Draft, 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 draft. draft, draft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're getting to the draft. So we're, like we said, we're drafting our very own X-Men teams tonight. But to lead into that, Uh-oh. we need another segment of Pages of oh. X. Yes. Pages of X. Hello, I'm Brandon from Mon Comics. Ryan, thank you for inviting me to read for your Council of X. To me, my X-Men. Xavier's School. I have a contact signal from Cerebro. Its scanning array has identified Magneto's energy signature entering Earth's atmosphere. Alert your blue team, Cyclops. I will hold Storm's gold team in reserve. On our way, Professor. 
Action stations, me hearties. Time to quote the vernacular to rock and roll. This isn't a danger room anymore, furball. And no false alarm either. The psychic emanations I've received from Professor X are deadly serious. All the more reason, don't you think? To maintain a humorous perspective? Woo-wee! Check out the spiffy set of wings. When the professor asked Forge to design and build us a new blackbird, the man did himself proud. Bag the banner, people, and get aboard. We've no time to waste. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> nice voice acting, man. Wow. Yeah. Was great, great voices. Rogue was when, man. when I first heard him say, ooh, wee, look at that spit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, crack it up. Crack it up. Uh, so thank you to Brandon from Mon Comics for just uh, doing an excellent job yeah, on that. Awesome, that page from X-Men number one. When we first hear of blue and gold teams. Uh, so that is the perfect segue into our teams here on the Council of X. Oh my God! Uh, and we're ready. Back <laughs> here. Uh, oh, here it comes. We're about to draft. Oh, the oh, 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 oh. oh boy! So M middle of the pack. We uh, we did a, a random drawing. For order of uh, picks, and so it's it go the first round it goes Bruce from up north comics, then Dan's X Men comics, then Eric from SideQuest comics, Sasquatch comics, Josh, Brian Bigby McFly the comic guy, Cheddar comics, and then yours truly gets to go twice in a row because we snake back up in the next round, so. Bruce, oh. you are on the clock. Wow. Hold up. No, no, don't put him on the clock yet. I think that we need just uh, just one more part before we start. Okay. Okay. We talked before this about like what does this stand for? Is this draft about creating the point. most powerful team? If they fought each <clears throat> other, who would win? Is this about uh who is just like your favorite team, like have fun with it? And this is, you know, do you like do you like these guys, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it like um, you know, the you know. Like just like that, like what 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 are we basing the draft off of? And it so, seems like, go ahead, Ryan, please help me. The way I was seeing it was, you pick your team however you want, and then we'll let the people decide what power to the people, what the best team is here based on what they think. All right, it should be. Like it. So so whatever your strategy is, you could be picking, uh, you know, what you think people will like, what you think is the most powerful team what uh is the most balanced team what is the most you know entertaining team you explain your team your choices to the to the to the people and they will ultimately tell us <laughs> who's got the best teams and they'll rank us and they'll do it live as soon as we're done picking our team so stay tuned to be part of oh boy. The live ranking it's awesome. Of our teams. It's awesome. So, Bruce. And right before we begin, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the sponsor, Dan? Is it you? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's I don't see. have one. I should have. I should have had our live sale commercial. Shoot. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Polaris <laughs> coffee. When I'm destroying Orcus, I like a nice cappuccino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can also address a, a one more question though like that from uh who was it that well basically like why are we using this draft pool what there's there's a hundred there's hundreds right to choose from what's up with just this okay draft so pool? yeah I'll, I'll 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 kind of preface what i did here was so like i'm not super up to up to date with like the most recent teams so what you got here for the most part is Almost everybody, unless I forgot somebody, through through up to the 90s into the 2000s, then it might get a little spotty. I tried to add as many people as I could, and to Alex, uh, Alex's point, I did forget Beak. So if you're a big Beak fan, <laughs> I Oof. apologize. Ouch! Uh, not having him included Oof. on uh, this uh, illustrious draft event. So. Um, for that point, should are we able to draft off board or should we just stick to the board? Let's stick to the board. 
uh, like just like so it. that we can Five see picks. it and the people can see everything. And Sounds Bruce, good. you're on the board or on the what? clock. You want us to do five, five picks? So you pick, pick one. You pick yeah, one right. character. I know, I know that. How many rounds? Going up to five. Let we'll go to five, and maybe we we do a six if we're feeling feeling. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Feeling nice. <laughs> I can't think of a word. Anyways, let's go. Well, guys, it's gonna be an early night, so uh, see you later. I think you know why I'm picking Colossus. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to pick Wolverine. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> no, totally. That's that's Bruce totally legit. A Canadian. First overall. Yeah. Hey, I'm part Canadian. I live right next to the... That's yeah, true. Chris you're crossing out. You're maybe more, Chris... You might Go be ahead, more Canadian right. than I am. <laughs> um... Chris um, was talking before, like he's w- was not sure if he's going to join the draft. He's intimidated. He's never done a draft. Before. I'm nervous. Look at this board. There's he's no sweating. beak on here. What's his name? There's no beak on this pool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Storm. Give me Storm, baby. Oh, uh, Omega level. Uh, ouch. It, it's, I shouldn't even worry about it. It's not even the my second first best. Choice, yeah. but, what are you doing? Come on. You guys are tonight. killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you, now it's tough. Ah, uh, woof. I'm guessing they were on your on your top three, right? Those two. I think that's on everybody's top three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Probably, I would imagine. Yeah. Well, I'll have to go for my third tier here. Uh, I'm gonna go Nightcrawler for my first pick. Nice teleporter. Nice. Oh my Every god! Every team needs a teleporter. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any teleporters on your team. You need a teleporter. All right, I'm going with uh, Colossus, his sister Ilyana. Oh, oh, magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> Nice pick. Uh, she's, right. she's, oh, she's, she's the full package. I'm not really into blondes. I'm more of a brunette guy, but she's got that Betty Page bangs. And she's a war captain of Krakoa. She's a teleporter, uses magic. She wields swords. She's just the full package. Dude. All right. I like it. You're building well your team. The well TNA All right. Uh, I'm going to go Jean Grey because you can't go wrong with uh, somebody who can wield the Phoenix Force, right? Oh That's a good gosh. pick, Brian. But Jeez, is she Madeline Jeez. Pryor? My list. <laughs> list is over with. Can be. Come on. Now, Chris, I didn't, there you go. I didn't pick somebody because... I know. I, was, I can't believe you didn't pick them. You're I so threw you a bone. <laughs> I know. So I have a little bit of a plan. And the first one I wanted to pick was my team leader. Smart. So who's going to lead my team but the master of magnetism himself, Magneto. Oh, great that's pick. Good pick. Yeah, great pick. Oh, man. He would have been gone if, like, got, if he got to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was All right. Scoop him up. All right. Well, this is the benefit of going back to back. So I can get my guy, Colossus. Yeah. What a shock. Pick number one. <laughs> what a shock. Oh, my <laughs> God. But I get to follow that up with a pick, not from my heart, but from my brain. Okay. And that pick, your brain is your heart. That. <laughs> that. Well, yes, yeah, true. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna think about this for a second. <laughs> you said it's from your brain. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, well you know, small. it's uh, it's it's important to uh, to to not just like. Yeah. You know, jump at the pick. You got to think about it. And so okay. I'm going to go with something I didn't think I would, but I want an Omega level mutant on my team. And I'm going to yeah. take. Yeah. Wow. That's a good one. Good call. Good pick. Yeah. My next team, or my next section I need is some muscle. I need muscle. <laughs> and I need someone that can take a hit. And I need. Sorry, Colossus is gone. Sorry. Not Colossus. <laughs> Deadpool. That's good. <laughs> All right. Good one. The Merc with the Mouth. 
All right. Brian, you are up. Tough. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna get some muscle too, and uh, and a little bit of uh, we got some flight, the muscle, and uh, uh, taking other people's powers. We'll take rogue. Oh, come oh, on, good one. Ah, <laughs> yep, I was gunning for that. Trying to take it all my all my people here. <laughs> Can we trade? Is that allowed? No. All right. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I'm out of strategy now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's official. Mike, Mike's declaring Eric the winner. He got Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another shock. Another shock to the system. Uh. Incredible <laughs> hallway and take orders from the team leader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I'm quitting this team. Hey, I know you guys needed my help, right? Oh, who do we lose? So Sasquatch, he got. And it's uh -oh. his pick. And he's, he's gone. gone. No. Got Josh. <laughs> he just bailed. Josh is just like, I I wanted Rogue. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, no. No Rogue. I'm out. Give him a few seconds here. Well, and, yeah. So I, what? So so what? So can we can know? we go through the some of the pictures? Some of the pictures are a little ambiguous. Can we go through like yeah, let, who they yeah. are? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you guys see my cursor? No. no, no yeah, no. I can see your cursor. Let, let just yeah. just start at the first yeah, one. Cyclops, Cyclops. Cyclops. Just go yeah. on down the line. Cyclops, Cyclops. beast. Strong guy, strong guy, right. armor, uh, Thunderbird, Hepsiba, Archangel, um, Psylocke. Revanche, Wait. Dialogue Revanche. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, um, Havoc, <laughs> Morph, Bishop, Warpath, Cable, Kitty Pride, Huss, oh, Madeline Pryor, right there, right. Where the husk is that you said? That's this husk. Is, uh, uh, oh, so you know what? No, no, my bad. I, the the cover, the cover. That's Madeline Pryor's like appearance cover. The cover that she's on for her first appearance, right? Dude, you're. I don't know. I, I don't I'm, don't tripping, know. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It's all, all right. There. Jubilee, Banshee, um, Lockheed, Mimic, Stunfire, uh, Phoenix, Rachel. X 23 Rachel, yeah, Rachel Summers X23 Damn. Longshot Dazzler Forge Thunder Betsy Braddock Psylocke Cannonball Gambit Marrow Maggot Emma Frost Chamber Vulcan Sunspot Namor Domino uh, this is Hope Summers, Professor X, Aurora, Polaris, Moonstar, Phantom X, Zorn, uh, Cecilia Reyes, uh, Sage, Darwin, I'm forgetting who this last one is, I forget now, um, if anybody remembers who that is, I can't remember now, uh, Pixie, Boom Boom, Multiple man, Quicksilver, um, Shatter, Shatter Shatterstar, and Dupe. All right, Josh yeah. is back. We got Josh. We got Josh. Sorry, my computer died. No worries. Oh. No worries. We just did a quick little run through of all the the pictures here, and now I, it's your. I pick. won't. I won't hold us up any farther. Um, I need to go Omega level, and uh, I think I'm gonna pick. Oh, he's muted. Are you muted, buddy? Nope, I hear him. No, no I hear him. Talk, we hear you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick Omega level. I'm gonna go. I just couldn't. Vulcan. Hear. Vulcan. Vulcan. And I think that uh, I think that Ilyana could get Vulcan's uh, ego in check. So <laughs> it's a good balance. There we go. Like yeah. Oh, after running through all the. Characters, all I'm like undecided now. 
You know what? Decisions, decisions. Man, I got there's three. lots. I mean, there is there's lots of great, um, great suggestions in the chat. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get these suggestions here. Mm -hmm. I think I am gonna go with the mistress of magnetism, Lorna Dane. So I'm gonna go with Larence. Oh, nice. I really wanted her. I really wanted her. Here we go. <laughs> Be still my heart because I was uh, I, uh I'm going Emma Frost on this one. Ah Emma Emma Damn Dan Fucker Damn <laughs> I, I probably would have gone rogue. I guess this is the queen of the Hellfire Club. <laughs> All right, I get two picks, right? Yeah. All right. You do. Um, speaking of keeping egos in check, I'm going to pick Cyclops <laughs> for my team. Oh, man. What a combo. Right? Oh, man. It's it the most dysfunctional. Oh, classic. <laughs> but this is so classic, guys. I mean, they hate um, each other. Bruce's team. And. Is to Sick. keep it even spicier, I'm gonna pick Phoenix. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. That it Rachel? didn't sound like Phoenix got so that, That's not Gene, though. It's Rachel that's, Summers. Oh, that's the daughter. It's Rachel Summers. Yeah. Still okay. a good pick. It's a great uh, pick. Hold on, hold on. I I didn't know that. So you reneging? I'm, yeah, I'm reneging. Right. I'm gonna pick Cable. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I was one, going bro. Cable next. Thank you. Okay, and then, so if he's putting that Rachel Summers back, you know, I mean, um, let me think about this. <laughs> <laughs> um, oof. Where are you going, Dan? What are you thinking? What power I'm level? Thinking, there's a few. Okay, well, I got the power level. You know, nothing to worry about there. Like, I feel like um, just somebody that, you know, somebody I like, I guess. Uh Oh boy, he oh boy. Um, <laughs> oh, anybody want to trade picks? Trade picks, <laughs> Ryan. No, uh, no uh, trading uh, picks. Uh, <laughs> oh, not yet. Um, let me let me just keep this rolling with uh, the ladies for right now. Mm. You uh, need to meet Dan. because I really like. Ooh la la. Okay, so this is not high power level, baby, but uh, I think I'd like her on my team. Kitty Pride. Let's take oh, her. That's a good choice. Yeah, a good pick. Love Kitty Pride. Got her good and choice. Storm together. It's a, it's a, uh, I like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good pick. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, let's see. So I got Nightcrawler. I got Polaris. Um, Steppo, what up? What's up, Steppo? And I think since <laughs> I can't have Big Daddy Lolo, I'm going to go X23 <laughs> and go with ah, Laura. Very nice. I know I wanted that go. substitute Wolverine. Yeah. 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 All right, Josh. Very nice. Very up. nice. All right. I can't believe that this character is still on the board. Like you guys. So you're in for it now. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna go maggot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna go mimic because mimic, like, sync isn't on there, and I love sync because he can take anyone's powers. Um, so mimic is wait. Mimic. No, you know what? Wait, is hope on there? Take yep. mimic away and put hope. Oh, oh damn it, that's my pick. <laughs> <laughs> he was ah. so quiet, just waiting. Sorry, it. Big B. I, can't, I have it uh, on my chest piece. Uh, yeah, Hope Summer, she can she can uh, enhance buffs everyone's, powers. Everyone's yeah, she buffs powers. and copies. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Damn it. That always happens to me. It doesn't matter if it's sports or what. I always, yeah. I, I always get <laughs> that, um, is, that is that is the joys of fantasy drafts in any type of sport or X Men, whatever. You're always gonna get snaked. Shit. 
We don't have Legion on here either, do we? He's good. No. He'd be awesome. No. Um, all right. Let's see here. Totally at a loss. Ah, uh, jeez. Let's see what you got. You got Gene and you got Rogue. Yeah. Keep it all mm. female, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. There's some good uh, female picks left. So. Yeah. X Men have always had the best female. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. And I've always been a really big fan of the female characters. I don't know why. I totally I'm gonna never go Bishop. To draw them naked as a kid. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go uh, Bishop. Ooh, that's, a good, that's a good pick. You got a little bit of muscle on your team now. I, mean, I got Rogan Bishop. I got some muscle. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with um my favorite dupe not dupe <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking dupe but i'll wait he be fine <laughs> might slip to you in the next yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everybody my secret plan for dupe <laughs> my dupe plan um i got to go i can't i'm surprised he's still there and i feel like he's the heart and if i could have some heart it'd have to be gambit Oh, I thought you were going to pick for Professor X. All right. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> ah, you were going there. All right. Okay. Well, I, I got to say thank you for putting Rachel back because. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I now have the Phoenix Force on my team. I have two Omega <laughs> level mutants and then the best mutant ever, Colossus. So. <laughs> I'm liking the way my team's uh, consider our asses kick circling here. Now I don't need a telepath because I got Rachel. So now what do I want? I think my team is going to need. I got a little fire. Got a little ice. What do I need? You know what I need? I my team needs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some incredible speed, and I'm gonna take Quicksilver. Good, good pick. Yeah, it's a good pick. And that mm -hmm. is my two picks. Back to you, Chris. <laughs> okay, I got Magneto, I got Deadpool, I got Gambit. It's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, pretty good. I really wanted a telepath. And I'm kind of surprised he's still here because I know, like, on the cool scale, you know, I think <laughs> I know he's exactly kind of looked over. But, you know, he can make, he can do whatever to you in your head, you know. And I got to go with Xavier because if I have Magneto and Xavier, it's you guys are bros. <laughs> it's over with. That is pretty powerful. I got Malcolm X yes, and funny, Dr. It's Shane. funny. Your team, I mean, I would have taken Xavier if Rachel wasn't there on my pick. But you know what's interesting about your team, Chris, is you've what? got you've got the two like elder statesmen of the X Men, got with the old two, guys, with two of the most mischievous. Yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, um, very nice. Some well good balanced. contrast going on there. Yeah, I, right? I like that. Yeah, too. it's not one X stroke. Man. You know, we got some diversity in yeah. their uh, yeah. ages and their uh, the way they act. All right, back to you, Brian. Um, I'm just glad it's not my pick. Oof. Richard knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, should we? Should we also explain? Like, I don't know if everybody knows that. Like, at the end, you actually have like a poll, like where everybody yeah. votes. Right? I, I, I did mention that earlier, but we oh, have okay. a poll that has a link. You just go to the link, and you'll rank our teams. And then the results will show up like right on screen here with us here. So please stay tuned for the end of the draft so that you can participate in ranking these teams. Cool. Um, damn. Uh, let's go Havoc. Solid. Nice. That Solid. is a good, good pick. It's getting Solid harder. Pick. 
It is. It is. Well, that's always the case. Is it? Is that what happens at the end? Oh yeah. All right. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. My next pick is a tricky one. Um, because it depends on how you define his powers. Uh, I'm gonna choose Zorn. Because mm -hmm. Zorn turns out to be Magneto. Correct. But I there got is Magneto, a ben. <laughs> But he's not. But then, you know? he, but then he, he was the Magneto. Magneto. But, he is, <laughs> but, he's not. but he's Zorn, actually. Yeah, and he's an Omega level um, psychic, you know. What are Zorn's powers? Yeah, I'm just thinking of how hope can intensify everyone's powers. So I got some heavy hitters. You do, you do. Alex, click the link and vote for me. Mm. <laughs> Before you go. Don't even look at the rest of the teams. Who cares? Campaigning already. <laughs> yeah. Alex, if you don't vote for, for me, I'm not going to uh, like and subscribe and comment on your stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not even gonna think uh, 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 Alex. Like I'm going <laughs> to unsubscribe. I will always like and subscribe. Always. Yes. Always. <laughs> Alex, you're the best. Okay. <clears throat> we love you. So I wasn't thinking about him. Actually, I'm surprised he's on here. But since I got I got two characters that are fairly level headed and one that's just gonna hand your ass to you. Uh I think I'm gonna go with the guy with the biggest ego on this list. And I'm gonna go with the first mutant, Namor. Nice. nice. Ooh, That's a nice one. I would have yeah, loved to surprise Ryan didn't yeah. think him. Yeah. I would that uh, he was my fifth. I, I would have I would have loved to, but I gotta I gotta more muscle. So. That speed that speed in Quicksilver, man. Just yeah, you gotta have it. Um, Eric, who was that uh, other character you were thinking about? <laughs> 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 well, most of all my other ones originally got picked here. Um, you said there was a couple of thinking about a couple, right? So do we not? We have Aurora, but not North Star. Uh, yes. Speaking of speedsters, no, no North Star. Huh? No North Star. Dan, I think you need to take Lockheed. You got Kitty Pride. I... Don't be spoiling <laughs> my strategy here. He's gonna last. <laughs> nobody's taking. Nobody's taking. I mean, he's pretty him. powerful. So I feel stupid here, but what's dupes' powers? He dupes. <laughs> um, Shit. Okay, there is. Um, he dupes okay. that boop. Yeah, what is dupes? <laughs> Dan, you need some muscle, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't have a lot of. There's he's a couple. Got Flight and superhuman like. strength, as well as a healing factor. Dupe is at super strong. So he's basically Slimer. Huh. Except strong. Okay. Um, Slimer strong? Uh, okay, there's a couple guys that... Um, I'll take Forge. I'll take Forge. That's a good one. Nice. Storm has his lover. Or her lover. Oh, got a little lover's quarrel on your team. Mm. Yeah, it might get a little distracting. I'm a little yeah. afraid, but uh, you have to pry them off each other on your team. Emma Frost Frost has there, though, with Kitty Pryde and Forge. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at Forge as a lucky man right now. So, yeah. you know. Dupe, just, just to, to, to follow up on Dupe, Dupe also has extra uh, an extra dimensional void within his body. That can store objects and people. That's dope. Wow, that is wow. dope. That's I think people. <laughs> That's dupe dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get two. Pop right, comedy. Yeah, you do. You get two back to back. Good for you. All right, uh, I'm gonna pick Dazzler. Ooh, right on, Dazzler. 50. I need a chick on my team, so I think she's the best of what. Chick, right? Anthony. Oh man, you yeah. weren't going to Team Sausage Fest, but <laughs> nah. nah. Uh, the next one's gonna be tough, but I kind of already wrote down what I wanted. I'm surprised he's still there. I'll take Archangel. Nice. Ooh. That's a good one. Cool. Yep. 
Thank you. Get some flight going. Yeah. Yep. It's good to have a flyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. And it's not Angel. It's Archangel. He's got sick wings with the shoots metal stuff. Metal blade. Metal blade. Yeah. So dope. Yep. All Angel does is dodge stuff in the air. And lift people. Horsemen That's death. True. Yeah. Catches them when they fall. Yeah. Um, okay. So there's a couple guys that I'm still thinking about. But question. Um, are we going five rounds or six? Because, you know, you got it's This is the last pick, right? This is the last pick right here. If we do five, yeah. We could do well, six. Can't we? Oh, quick, though. We, we should do got six. Time to do six. Like, we're, we're, we're not even in an hour. So let's do six, guys. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I pick last. So. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple that I really like. And I, I think it's just comes down to like, do I think one of these is going to come back? Strategizing now. Is none of these guys going to take one of the people that I'm thinking about? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Beast. Nice. Got to have a scientist at a lab. I got a couple of guys to work Man, in, he, in the Beast lab. Is a good work together. A good Beast and, I've always liked Beast. You know, so Beast and Ford. Like. Team, team, team Brainiac over there. there. Yeah, Forge and Beast together. That's a that's a very intellectual, high IQ team right there. Mm. Dig it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, Kitty Pride's a techie too. So true. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I got a hothead. Do I want another hothead? Eh. Mm. You know what? I think, and I'm surprised she's still there. I'm gonna go with Psylocke. Ah, ah that's oh, that. So I should have waited on Beast. Yes. Ninja. Clarification. Which <laughs> yes. I need Ninja Psylocke, not uh, not yeah, British Psylocke. Ah, yeah, good pick. A good one. Arr, good one. <laughs> okay. All right. No, so, no. Uh, I want a little bit more muscle, and I've been. Uh, I love big guy, but I think I'm gonna go armor. That's a good pick. Give me armor. You can tell. Josh is a is a consumer of modern X Men. Your team is very reflective of your knowledge mm -hmm. of more modern X Men characters, and and that's good. You've got a leg up on some of us here. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I think about shit way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm love slogging it. through uh, the fall of the House of X, like the end of the Krakoa stuff, and actually, some of it's pretty good. Yeah, honestly, I yeah. I want to. I can't. I can't wait to read all the, all the modern stuff too. It's just I got to get through the old stuff first. Yeah. So uh, is that there. M there. in there? There no. is that her M? She's not in here. I no. think M, I uh, what's her, her name? Uh, M. He's uh, on the yeah. bottom row, I think. Oh right. Is that the yeah. one I couldn't remember? I think that's M. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. flight, telepathy, human, superhuman strength. <laughs> she's the one I. Yeah, totally she's right down there. Okay. You she's the second pick? one in from the end, right? From the second yeah, on the yeah, second yeah. row. Yeah. Monet. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Monet. Monet. I'll pick Monet. That's a good pick. Is that her? I was thinking that. Is that her? I think that is her, Brian. Just can't remember. That's okay, I was thinking on she was the row. second one in on the end from the yeah, that's on the, the second row. Oh, the second row. Yeah, who's that on the second row? Is that M? That's not M. Second row is uh, Betsy Braddock, Psylocke, then Cannonball, then um, no, the second row uh, in from in from the the right hand side. The other side. Second oh, this one. Way. Second one this is in the right hand side. The second row. Cecilia Reyes. That's Cecilia Reyes. Okay, well, if that's M, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted M anyway, so Monet. Okay, let's just call her M. I don't Monet. Sorry, one character I don't remember. All good. 
All right. He's badass. Mm hmm. All right, Chris, what are you thinking? What do you got? You got old men and young upstarts. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. You need a you need a lady. You do need a lady. No, I keep it dicks, bro. I'm thinking yeah. all the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Sausage all the way. I'm thinking all wieners. <laughs> you know what? Shapeshifter. <laughs> Shapeshifter. I, you know, I never would have picked him before, seeing how creatively he's used in X Men '97, and I think that if you had the right leaders, which I do with Magneto and Xavier, you could tell him what to do, and it's got to be Morph. Ah, I knew you're gonna pick Morph. Like yeah. And so he, you know, it could be Wieners, it could be, you know, whatever. You like so you got three knuckleheads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got them kind of bounced. You know, you got the two, and then you got a bunch of mischief. Oh. Ambiguous I, more. <laughs> I, I get I get the thinking. It's uh I I was I was thinking that too. I just uh it doesn't really matter anymore. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> yeah, most of my plans went out the window. All right. I think I, I'm locked in on my last two picks because oh I'm boy my fifth and my sixth and my fifth pick, I'm going with Sunspot. Nice. Dominating the hot cold conversation, I think mm -hmm. Sunspot super powerful. He could shoot his fire, um, so he's got some he's got some range to his attacks. Uh, and uh, yeah, between Rachel and Sunspot, I own the Heat game, and I definitely own the Cold game with uh, with Iceman. I also neutralize someone. Who could go up against Iceman? So I like that. I like that about my pick as well. Nice. And this last pick is going to be, I think, a creative one. So we're only picking six six characters. Oh, but I'm, I'm going to be the man. only team that has more than six. That, In fact, I have as many characters or, or members <laughs> as I want. Nice. <laughs> nice. Man, Jamie Madrix. Hey, can literally just overwhelm you with his beings. Uh, so I like my team of Colossus bringing metal and vulnerability and mo morality. My Omega level mutant in Iceman, my Omega level mutant in Rachel Summers, Phoenix, Absolute Speed in Quicksilver, Sunspots. Heat and range and multiple man's overwhelming amount of poppies he can make. He's, you know what? I, and he's I a brainiac. My... He's a brainiac too. So you, brainiac. Thank you for letting me know because so because now I also have mental IQ. Yep. Superiority. Very cool. <laughs> I like, I like really my upselling. team. I like my team. <laughs> All right. Back that to um. Chris. That sunspot oh. pick has eclipsed everyone else's. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Perfect timing. That was really good. All right. <laughs> Press yeah, your on. Own. Okay. I'm, it's <clears throat> now you got now I have too many choices because they're all a bunch of uh Kind of a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> We're left with all the weirdos, <laughs> you know. And I think sneaky. I'm I'm tempted with dupe, but I think I'll leave him for someone else. Dan, <laughs> so kind of you. I, I'm leaving him for Dan. <laughs> I know he had his eyes on dupe. He told me he messaged me today. Um, yeah, he did. Don't you touch? <laughs> <laughs> I think with my kind of odd, I, you know, I got the two Titans at the top, you know, with the combined power of Magneto and Xavier. And then I've got kind of the mischievous ones with Deadpool, who's real. Is, he's immortal, isn't he? Yeah. I got Gambit. I got Morph, who I can really do whatever I want with. So I have a lot of elasticity with their powers. And I think the one... <laughs> That would fit in great with them to get one woman on the team would be Domino with yeah. the power oh, of luck. Well, I and I that think that be my pick. Uh, her, no. her power of luck would really my last pick. 
a fortress. She'll keep them in line too. Other teams. So <laughs> I'm very happy with my team. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I think I fell into a wonderfully strong position with Magneto and Xavier leading a group of oddballs, but the strongest ones. And that is my pitch for my team, who you should vote for. <laughs> man, uh, uh, where's that? Podium. We're drafting X Men. We're making teams of X Men, and you have the opportunity to uh, to rank these teams at the conclusion of this draft. That's <laughs> true. Sure. All right. Well, I think that I was a little disappointed I didn't get Quicksilver, but I'm going to get uh, Super Speed. Only with uh, the good looks to go with it. I'm going to take Aurora. So I'll have the mm. super speedster there. My super speedster has boobs. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And a French Canadian. That's right. True. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm pretty good there with uh, Jean Grey. got the Phoenix Force. I got Rogue stealing people's powers. Super, super strong. Bishop uh, energy absorption and uh, and weaponry for up close fighting. There we got oh. havoc with some energy. M with what psionics Everything. flight and uh, invulnerability and super strength, and then our super speedster with Aurora. So there we go. I think Bishop and Havoc would just kick some butt on your team, Brian. Oh yeah, I mean, just yeah, you could just, just power him up. up. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I love seeing that yep. show and the show in hell. Uh, okay, Team Sasquatch. I got the team leader in Magic. Uh, she has it all. She's a teleporter, um, war captain, just all around badass. Uh, Vulcan, who is Omega level, it will smoke Ryan's uh, Omega level Iceman. Um, and uh, <laughs> Hope, just yeah, she is, she is Hope incarnate. She's the the future of ever, of the the Hope for mutant kind and humanity and, and uh, she can take and enhance all powers um, leading the Zorn and his, his ceiling. There is none. Um, and uh, he's a contemplative guy. So I think he'll bring a little balance to <laughs> Vulcan as well. And you have armor, uh, the muscle, um, but you know, she's uh, she's got that vulnerability that comes as well. Um, but for my last pick, um, I, if if this team is going to survive what's coming, they need to be able to escape into some kind of interdimensional pocket. <laughs> and uh, you, need, you need a real mutant-looking mutant and some levity to your very serious team. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to dupe, bro. I love that. I love it. Awesome. Love it. I just like to point yeah. out that, that that Josh is 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 planning escapes, which means he can't hang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boom, dude! Magic would smoke Colossus any day, but she wouldn't. <laughs> she would never do it because there's other sister. So <laughs> cancel. Oh, so great. Cancel. I love it. Great team, though. Great team. Duke's the most beautiful one on your team. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. Well, let's see. Let's run down. I got Nightcrawler, who's the nice mutant. So a little bit of leadership there. I got Lorna, uh, X-23. I got Namor with the attitude and the muscle. Got some ninja action. Um, man, how do I compliment this? I mean, I was, I was looking at more muscle with the proud stars and I was thinking of putting Betsy Braddock in there just for some friction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know what? And I'm surprised and she doesn't get enough love and I see her still on the list, but I'm thinking Danny Moonstar. Ooh, interesting. Um, I think her power set is interesting in the fact that not only could she, does she have her her range with her you know her bow, but just her ability to you know basically mess with the enemies you know freak them out make them see their worst fear and stuff like that. So um, 
yeah, I don't think she gets enough love. So I'm going to throw her on this kind of weird team, you know, <laughs> that I put together. <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of going down the line. Let's put some guys together you never see together. So there you go. Love sure. it. Great. These are all great teams. <clears throat> Fantastic. Yeah, I love these teams. We've all done um, a good job. So I'll, I'll pitch my team and then I'll take my last pick. You better so, not pick my last pick, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're probably safe. Um, Maybe. So, guys, we don't even need to fight. Why are we all here, right? We're here to bring mutant kind, to, 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 to stop the hatred, right? We don't, have to, we don't have to fist fight. You don't need no strong guy, you know? We got Forge and we got Beast in the lab, working the data, crafting the tech. We got Kitty Pride up on the podium advocating. We got Storm and Emma Frost, two of the best leaders of all time in X-Men history. I think that we can create a committee to bring mutant kind intermerged with humanity <laughs> and let's throw Lockheed in there. Oh, let's no, have a little fun with this, right? Hey, That's man, what every team, every team needs a mascot. Every team needs a mascot. And Dan got hit. So you're ahead of the game, man. You're ahead of the game. Thank you. Nice pick. And your your mascot breathes fire, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> that's cool too, yeah. That's a fan favorite right there, Dan. That was smart picking. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, I might just get yeah, both right pandering there. to the audience. <laughs> All right. The final pick. The final pick. And everybody's team is good, but mine is the best. <laughs> We've got Wolverine. I do love your team. Wolverine is undoubtedly the best X-Men ever, besides, you know, maybe Colossus. Well, I'll get Colossus. He's up there. All right. So you got Wolverine. You got Cyclops. You got a father and son duo. You got Cable. You know, a little bit of time traveling there. And then you got Dazzler with the, uh, the speed of light. Light is her power got archangel with the power to fly and my last pick just to give it a little it's just a little spice is jubes nice jubes couldn't leave jubes down there sparkler <laughs> jubes jubes like and you got father and son on the same team yeah that's pretty and Jubilee and daz are a good combo good draft guys yep. good draft i Easy. can't believe betsy braddock Psylocke stayed on. I was a tough choice on the bench. <clears throat> there were a lot of telepaths. There were a lot of telepaths. So, it is well done, it everybody. Is. Great yeah. pick, guys. Good draft. I mean, how many we'll telepaths uh, can you need? Right? Everyone decide. <laughs> so, let's just take a good hard look, everybody in the chat, at these teams. Think about how you would rank them because in a second I will pull up the ranking uh, screen and then you can uh, vote on the rankings of all these teams. But just take a good hard look at the rosters we've got here. To recap, Up North Comics has Wolverine, Cyclops, Cable, Dazzler, Archangel and Jubilee, a lot of fan favorites on that on that roster. Then you've got Dan's X Men comics with Storm, Emma Frost, Kitty Pride, Forge, Beast, and Lockheed. <laughs> Eric from SideQuest has a uh, Nightcrawler, Lorna Dane Polaris, X twenty three, Namor the Submariner, Psylocke Revanche uh, version, and Moonstar. Josh has. Uh, from Sasquatch has Magic, Ileana Rasputin, Vulcan, uh, Hope Summers, Zorn, Armor, and Dupe. And then Brian, Big Me McFly, the comic guy, has Jean Grey, Rogue, Bishop, Havoc, M, or Monet, and Aurora. 
And then Chris from Cheddar Comics has Magneto, Deadpool, Gambit, Professor X, Morph, and Domino. That is and insane. yours truly, Colossus Collector, has Colossus. Surprise, surprise. Uh, <laughs> Iceman, Rachel Summers, Phoenix, Quicksilver, Sunspot, and Multiple Man. Those are your teams. Tough. I'm going to now tough. pull them so off. When do these new series start? When does Marvel start sending the checks? You got to call them out. <laughs> Let's get the new series going. <laughs> I think whoever finishes last has to perform Seppuku Harkari. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, I lived a good life. I have my death poem ready. <laughs> Okay, so Ryan's setting up the, the poll right now. Are we oh. allowed to vote for, for teams? Yeah. Yeah, I, you, you can all vote for my team. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just need the link, and I just need to send it to my family overseas real fast. All right, so the link <laughs> is menti.com, and you put in the code 2137. Four eight seven three, and Whoa. then you can what? do your rankings. Hold on, give me that code again. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Tell right there, code. it's on the it's on the thing. But yeah, oh, is it? Men oh, menti.com, and then the code is two one three seven four eight seven three. I'm totally not gonna vote for my own team right now. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. Very like, honorable of you. I really am not. See, my... But you know what? Even if you did vote for your own team, you're ranking, right? So it's still going to affect where you put everybody else's team, right? So uh, hmm. it all works. What the heck? So you have to basically you just have to click on all those teams and then rank them. And I put the um, I put the code in the chat. Um, so you can just copy paste. Does it say how many votes are for or for what? No, it's just oh, wow, ranked. it's just moving in real time. Yep. Holy smokes! Oh gosh! So I got and I got to look at everybody's team. Go back here. All right, all right. Oh, Shatter's moving up. Oh, I don't. Oh, you can it. see it. Yeah, it's right there. <gasps> who's on everybody's team cheddar <laughs> it won't last don't worry <laughs> cheddar did have a good team though yeah i do like cheddar's team People i really vote me last because they want to see me perform harakari live <laughs> if i could have gotten wolverine and deadpool as my first and second pick that would have been insane but there's no happened. yeah it would have been a good would have should have could have yeah <laughs> I knew Deadpool wasn't going to last. Big B had a good team, too. So we are sitting on... Oh. Pulling ahead. Jeez. Oh, when do we cap it? When do we cap the thing? The... the uh... Uh, yeah. We'll give everybody a few more. Oh, yeah. We, and, 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 you know, it can just... For days, we can pitch well, it. All, you know, we can pitch this for days. Just actually, let that's <laughs> in a in a way you could just I could just leave it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. oh, it's... Wow, y'all yeah. are sleeping oh, on yeah. Sasquatch's is pink. I just voted for Chad. I'm actually too. surprised that you're 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 in seventh right now. <laughs> I, I, yes. It's clear everyone wants me to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's because you it's because you uh, oh. we had to wait for that one pick. Everybody's just pissed off, dude. I get it. I get it. You know what? I stayed in everyone's Everybody. head. No, nope, no, nope, downvote me. Downvote. Okay. Me. Yeah. Um. I get it. Yeah. Hard to not. I agree. No, I did. I did vote Cheddar. Um. I love the. Uh, it's just like oh. I would. That would be a great. Um. You know, the, you're totally right about the old, the two old guy leaders, and then you got the like party animals um, in between, and yeah. uh, that'd be a fun, that'd be a fun uh, 
comic to read or a show to watch. It was not my plan either. I can tell you that. This I, I had a whole other thing. I, I wish I could present both, but I can only do one at a time. Be, would be nice to have both the team and the. Maybe I, I wonder uh, what the comments think. Do people want this to end, or do you want to keep it open? Can you do that, Ryan? Can you like keep it open? I think I could keep it open. But then, when would we know when it? Well, I would have email to. Ju- it, they, they email you the results, right? That's what I um, just did on my phone. It's kind of more of a live thing. Like, I mean, yeah. if I left it open, I'd probably have to leave it open on my computer overnight and like let people vote. Um, Ryan would just leave it open until he's winning and then he would close it. Ask all my friends to vote for, for my team. <laughs> hey, Auntie, I need you to get online real quick. Yeah, Nana, I need Nana? you to go to this website. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not Facebook, it's menti.com. <laughs> well, I think just for everyone who's years ago, everyone here that's live should should have the final say. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll keep it to right now. I'll I'll quickly just I'll pull up our team again in case anybody wants to take a quick look yeah, at that again, just so that you have reference. Ah, shoot, uh, always forget. Oh. Hey, Dan's kiddo. <gasps> You're YouTube famous. <laughs> so that's our teams right there. And then I will put up the vote one last time. Yeah, regardless, this has been so much fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Loved it. And we could do like, a, like Brotherhood of Mutants. And... Yeah, dude, we'll oh, definitely please. do Brotherhood. That'll be so much fun. I'm talking my language. Oh, I dropped. I dropped one. <laughs> and um, Man, I'm I mean, fifth. I wish that we could do like a, a Hero Clicks game of this or whatever now, right? Like, oh, a, like a Dungeons man. and Dragons style yeah. or no, something. No, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Might have to bring this to a non X Men night and do like Avengers and stuff too. That would be fun. Ultimate yeah, Avengers. Really, team. really good idea, Ryan. Thanks for bringing yeah. thanks for uh, having us for this. It's yeah, it fun. was. Thank you. Yeah, it looks so cool too. It's so nice looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I found when I found this ranking thing, I was like, oh man, this is amazing. Yeah, it's really pretty. And it does it in real time, and and it actually like you can uh, you could do like there's different like templates of how this can look, and, and it's pretty pretty sweet. All right, so I think we are close to final here. I want to also remind everybody that Chris was the one who. I'm not going to make it, guys. It's a little too intimidated by this draft thing. Uh, I'm not going to be good. You guys are going to smoke me, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Unanimously. Nice way to pop that cherry, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Beginner luck is what they call that. Yeah. Beginner's luck. I got to watch my mouth. Dan's kids here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Got to keep it PG. There will be no popping of cherries. No. (laughs) Hey, kiddo, your dad, Dan, is pretty cool. Yeah, he is. Pretty cool guy. Stop. He's the best. We love Dan. We love Dan. We love Dan. All right. And off my next look at Richard's uh comment, Chris. I think we're gonna call it yeah. there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, you might want to keep it open a little oh. longer, right? Nana, Nana's Nana. 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 all to, I mean, to Instagram, Instagram just came through. What happened? I have no idea. Now we're calling you it jump two spots. His, his family to, to vote. Yeah, yeah. I'm t- nice. Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, pop pop. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, all right. I, I mean, I feel bad now stopping it. Uh, if anybody's betting, get it in. Do, yeah, home. do last call like you're at the bar. Last call. This is last call. At 1023 the, the again. At 1023 on my phone or on my uh clock here, I will call it. And I want to thank everybody for being on tonight. It's been yeah, it's a lot, lot of fun. Uh we will like we were saying, we will definitely do this again. Brotherhood of Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, maybe in you know, yeah, a few, a few episodes. We don't, don't want to do this too too often. We're gonna save it. So maybe yeah. uh yes, we can do all bad know. guys. Exactly. Yeah that's, exactly. That's, yeah, that's what we'll do, right? So um, uh maybe in you know five five to six episodes we'll do this again or something. Yeah. And uh Ryan, um all right, I'm the, calling it. I love the way like the I t forget every time that you do the pages of X and you have somebody read an X-Men page or two. And I just I just love that. So keep doing that, man. Like that's so much fun. Oh, we are we are definitely going to keep doing that. Um, and if anybody ever wants to do one of those, just let me know. I I definitely need people um, for the future. So would love um, would love to get some more people to uh, to read some pages of X uh, for our uh, for our show. Um, so we ended with. Chris's team on top. The man had the elder statesman, the mercs, the merc with the mouth, the raging Cajun. It's a pretty good mix. I somehow sn snuck in a second right at the last second. And then followed by Brian, Bigby McFly, up north, side quests, and then Sasquatch and Dan's X Men comics. But I don't think that's a proper reflection of the strength of everyone's team. I agree. Uh, but, you know, it just, it's just the way they're all great teams. Yeah. Oh, man. Killer. I, they should, they should, you know what they should do? They should scrap this next X Men run of books and they should release seven titles. You know, like. There you go. The Colossus Collector X Men, the Cheddar X Men, the Side Quest <laughs> X Men. I think Marvel would have like they would make millions of dollars. And millions of bucks, bucks a pop. Dollars. Six pop yeah. bucks a pop an issue. Tens of dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tens of dollars. <laughs> well, clearly um, everyone who voted for set Team Sasquatch are refined and cultured. Refined, <laughs> cultured, high society individuals. Since I uh since I basically lost um we're ready. It's been really nice knowing you guys. Um, <laughs> I, it's it's time. I love you guys. He's going <laughs> showgun on us. <laughs> the chat did it. The chat did it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that was uh, dark. That was way to go on. Thank you. Yeah. That was. Uh, a, a bloody end to a wonderful evening. Wow. Um, but <laughs> before we before we wrap up, I just want to ask uh, you guys if you have anything you want to uh, shout out, promote ahead of the coming week or weeks. Uh, please yep. do. I we I know a few of us have a little bit of a of an announcement to, to make. Mm -hmm. But uh, if any of you guys want to take it, please do. I've got a thing coming up tonight. Tell us about oh, it. Oh, a thing? I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna be on uh, uh, Bronze Age Nerds channel. Um, and one of the things we're doing is we're going to be doing a raffle for uh, this piece of artwork. Awesome. Uh, for me, losing money paper. for... Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see this. That's so, right, that's right, the signed paint. Um, and uh, we're raising money for uh, our friend uh, Jennifer from Comics Will Break Your Heart. Uh, she's uh, she's fighting cancer, and she has a, a GoFundMe. And so, if you go over to her GoFundMe, which is uh, Keep Jen Reading, um, 
and donate ten dollars or more and message me on instagram we'll get you in on the drawing um, and we're just trying to help her to uh stay afloat while she's uh fighting cancer so that's Great tonight at nine o'clock uh, pacific for the uh, the raffle results but if you get in we'll make sure to notify you if you win so that's great cool that's great brian great that you're doing that that's awesome and it looks like her gofundme and all the the money raising has has been going really well i saw that it kind of hit the goal but um you guys are still i mean you, the expenses are she, 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 she can hit her goal but she's still going to need money to to of course to, yeah to keep up the fight, you know, they just put that in, that number in there so that they had a number, basically. So. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. That's great, Brian. So check that out. That's on Bronze Age Nerds channel tonight at nine Pacific, yep. midnight yes. Eastern. All right. You guys, Eric, Chris, any? I got the going? the usual haul videos coming out. Um, should be one towards the end of the week. Uh, I think last week I did a dollar dive in my old big dollar box I got. So I'm going back to uh, another haul. I, I visited a lot of places in the last month. So I have a lot of haul videos coming. Excellent. I, uh, I dropped my second long form video today. It is underperforming. So if you could come and watch it, I spent a lot of time on it. It's on the history of Godzilla versus Barkley. So it's a 10 minute deep dive cool. on the commercial and the book. And um, it's kind of a uh, where, where I'm going with the channel, um, focusing on the history and kind of mini documentaries and what I would like to do moving forward if people watch it. Awesome. <laughs> Check that out. I I haven't seen it yet. I will definitely watch it. I loved your first thank you, Ryan. Video, so um, you will thank you. I'm very proud of it. More view. So um, yeah, but yeah, I'm guys. Check out Chris's channel, Cheddar Comics. His first video on the first uh, appearance or appearances of Gambit was was awesome. It's now thank it basically you. defined my opinion on <laughs> that on that controversial subject. So. Yeah. Uh, Settled. Yes, it's the definitive settlement video. Sure. <laughs> I appreciate settled. it. The age old, decade long, decade long, decades. Yeah, age. yeah. Over and, and Chris, I, uh, I you echo got those. Wolverine. You got to be Wolverine sure. next. You got to put that one to bed. I know. I want to. Him and uh, Venom are kind of the same. I'm trying to yeah. figure out how to. Um... Oh, the Venom one that's really goofy too. Yeah. yeah. For it's me, I'm of... locked in on 2.99 on that one because. Todd McFarlane says that's the first appearance, and I mean, because I think the, the character, the crux, I can't really answer, and maybe I'll have to interview everybody. It's <laughs> like, what do you consider a cameo, and what do you consider a full? And I feel like that's the whole problem, you know. Maybe that's the topic, and then you use them as uh, it is examples, and then I yeah. get some facsimile reprints. I mean, Venom, he is a, it's a full page, full shot, full body shot, and he's talking. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I asked somebody once and they said they the way that they thought about it is if the character doesn't affect the story, they don't consider it a full appearance. And by story, you mean like the comic story, the contained story. Yeah. Issue. So I think that was where someone landed. I don't know that I agree, but, mm. you know, so if it's that one page. I could see you know, that, like, though. Yeah, I, yeah it, it, it was an interesting easy, point. I think that's kind of where the problem is. It's a valid um, yeah. topic or debate. Yeah, I'll have to have you all in the video. We'd love to. <laughs> love to. Yeah. The only problem with that argument, by the way, now Sam, don't even go off, but the only <laughs> yeah, problem with that argument is. Not nah, say. <laughs> no, go ahead, man. If you oh, want do to. it, do it. Oh, okay. Um, that, like, there are so many first appearances where they were introduced in an issue, but, like, didn't really affect. But I guess then you just say their next appearance was well, uh, first appearance right now oh. let's I'm go with that. bishop 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 is a cameo in the issue that he has he at first appears in the cover though so yeah, sure. on the cover. yeah. That's you can't take that back so that, that's the one everybody wants is the one where he first appears yeah. on the cover even Maybe though it's a cameo like, the clause. So. like if they didn't expect the story but they are on the cover so 
therefore supersedes the murky. Yeah. It's getting murky. Yeah. Yep. See, yeah. it's murky now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it clean. You're right. Yeah. Right. Um. So I will mention um this coming Sunday, the 14th of April, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. We're having our big team up claim sale. First, my first ever claim sale, but I will be with Bruce. I will be with uh, Dan and uh, also Travis from Comics Limited and um, Ryan from Co Collecting Casually. And we're going to have lots of books um, Silver to Modern, all, you know, keys, readers, run fillers, you name it. Uh, we're going to have good deals, giveaways. Uh, so would really appreciate uh, everyone's support, you know, whether it's just popping in to say what's up or buying our books. Um, we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, what platform was that on, Ryan? It'll be right here on the Colossus Collector YouTube channel. YouTube, okay. Yeah. So, you, Ryan, are you telling me that next Sunday – you on your channel right here that I'm watching, you're going to be selling some of your comic books? I am. Not only am I going to be selling some of my comic books, you're going to be selling some of your comic books. And I'm going to be buying them. You're going to be selling some of your comics too. I better get to work. Uh, yeah, seriously, I do have a lot of work to do. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's going to be great and uh, very cool. You know, if we don't sell anything, we're at least just hanging around uh, looking no, at some books. Yeah, that, so, uh, that, that's yeah. what I'm talking win, about. That'll be fun. Win, win. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so we'll have a we'll have it set up that uh, we'll have like a a Google form where uh, if you're if you're going to claim anything, you can put in your info, and we'll all have your info, so you don't have to like. Uh, we will. We will contact you with what you've claimed and shipping and all that sort of stuff. Um, yep. So yeah, it'll be we'll take care of you, baby. pretty easy. Um, and yeah, hope 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 everybody uh, can pop in. Yeah. yeah, hope you see you there. And it, you know, absolutely. Don't just just say hi. Don't even buy a comic. You know what I mean? Just 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 show up. Okay. All Don't right. All right. Like, you know. Yeah. Say what's up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Dan's gone. Uh, <laughs> all right <laughs> we're actually trying to sell comic books but we do appreciate you just coming by and saying hi oh dan, well, hey. <laughs> oh hi dan whoops oh hi dan love it uh, all right um uh, if that's anything else anybody anybody bueller i was just gonna say that uh you know about the claim sale but you did it very well ryan uh is bigby gonna be there too i don't know if you mentioned him yeah, you're you're coming, um, right? I'm in the chat group, but I haven't been. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm down to be there. Yep. Well, you're, if you're you want to sell, please. man, I will. I will shout it from the rooftops. Please be a part we, of this. We'll chat. We'll chat. Yeah. So now we're gonna also have Brian Bigby McFly, the comic guy. So now even more books, even more yeah, books are up for sale. It's only getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger team up, claim sale, Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right. Um, thanks, everybody, in the chat for watching. It's been a really great night. Lots of people came by. Uh, we had a ton of fun drafting our, our X-Men teams. Uh, thank you for participating in that. And uh, with that said... I officially call this fifth session of the Council of X closed. And uh, keep collecting, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hell yeah.